So um, this is the classic good evil story. We we know it thoroughly. There's a bunch of stuff you might not know, but I'm going to get to that in a moment. Uh, however, very difficult story to cover because it's so emotional here on Long Island where I am. And I've said this many times. I mean, dozens of families were uh, affected directly. They lost loved ones and, and some of my friends, too. I uh, was in the middle of it uh, 22 years ago. We'll, we'll get into that as well. Um, and that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So um, 2,977 people killed in the terror attacks, all told. In New York City, 2,753, the lion's share of the dead were killed here in the World Trade Center. Two airliners hijacked by jihadists crashed in the uh, World Trade Center. The two towers collapsed. OK, now total dead. Uh, and this counts people who uh, died after 9-11 from illnesses that they contracted uh, being close by. 5,600 total dead, and that's according to World Trade Center Health Program. Um, another 71,000 individuals have been diagnosed with illness directly caused by the 9 11 attack. It's a staggering number. Um, now, the jihadists have been severely downgraded throughout the world. And I wrote a book about it, Killing the Killers. You're familiar with this book. It's the best reporting that I've ever done, by the way. I mean, all the killing books are worthy, in my opinion. But this book tells you things you absolutely do not know about how the U.S. government attacked the jihad. And it was all done under the cloak of secrecy. But we were able to get top secret documents and put them in the book and walk you through what happened. Uh, in the ensuing years. Mistakes were made, but overall, the USA downgraded the jihad in a way that I don't think has ever been done throughout history. Threat is still there, but not nearly what it was. And if you want to know how this country did do that, then you read Killing the Killers. Now, today, in 2023, we have a, a, a threat here because of the open border. And the terrorists uh, are coming across it, according to Customs and Border Protection. This year alone, and we still have, what, four more months, 149 individuals on a terror watch list have been detained at the border. Last year, the whole year, the number was 98. But the open border is a magnet for terrorists to come across. Now, whether President Biden knows that or not, anybody's guess, nobody ever asks him and he never addresses it. He's just happy that the border is open and 8 million people have sauntered across it. Now, last night, 60 Minutes, which has been on the decline, in my opinion, did a really excellent report, Scott Pelley, on 9-11. And it focused in on the New York City firefighters. Um, boy, it was good. And if you haven't seen that, it's worth watching. It just shows you uh, the heroism uh, that was in play on that day, 9-11. It was a terrific, terrific piece. Um, And later on, uh, I'm going to get into a negative about uh, 9-11, and that was the telethon. I've done this before, but I think it's worthy to refresh everybody's memory about how bad that was. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year, stocks dropped a whopping 20%. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver 
on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.